Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Milky Way Squid Rat- Ratchet Deadlock 100%. Um, in this episode we're going to be doing um, Catacomb Graveyard. Um, so yeah, I I forgot to plug in the um, cord to my microphone. So I'm going to redo both On the Pal and Valley of Heroes. Uh, it's basically to show you uh, basically what you would do. So here just um, go through um, go there. Um, the, the two pads there don't do too much damage so you can pretty much um, jump on there while you're telling your bots to um, EMP them because if they EMP them then obviously you don't take a hit but if they um, if they don't then it isn't that big of a deal especially since it's at the end so here just um, uh, charge through and rest and hard stuff um, Go to this, and you're at the end. Right here. Um, also, for these missions, I'm also going to um, head the run straight to the end stage. Um, seems to work here. Yeah, that rocket does. Um, yeah, that yeah, that works fine there. Um. If you don't want to hear um, Blank say that repeatedly, uh, probably just um, probably do uh, Ace Highlight, then go through everything in Exterminator, then when you get to um, Ghost Station, do Ghost Station, then put it back onto Catch Potato, uh, do the skill points, and put it back onto um, onto exterminator for the control level. Um, however, uh, you should be able to menu fast. You should be able to um, menu fast enough to um, for that uh, glitch or whatever to not be too much of an issue. Um, so yeah, here. Uh, yeah, so you don't actually need to worry about mods here. Um, so, um, people will probably disagree on the best mods for different weapons. Um, That one also sucks. Uh, yeah, but people will disagree on the best mods to use. Um, <coughs> uh, one uh, basic, uh, I think it's Scritler, who said uh, to have um, shock on everything and acid on this. Um, in my opinion, uh, for this and probably this as well, um, you'll want brainwash because that will 
stop enemies from attacking you even before they die um, because otherwise they only stop enemies from attacking you by killing them. Um, I'm not sure about that much of it. Um, If you wanted to, you could also um, uh, yeah, you could buy some speed mods, some ammo mods. Um, in terms of alpha mods, uh, mainly um, uh, basically what I do is I have uh, enough ammo mods in here for 50 ammo, enough for 300 ammo, uh, 50 ammo, 20 ammo, um, that might be, no. for that I put all speed because I only use it in, um, in a place where you have infinite ammo, uh, that one I have, um, 20 ammo, also 20 ammo, um, don't care about that. Uh, that thing is also 20 ammo, and that uh, is naturally all ammo. So yeah, fortunately this is actually strong enough for um, strong enough for these things. So that was one attack, and it did about um, 30 damage. So, in theory, that four hits I can take. Um, I'm not sure if I can use the upper on that. Yeah, this is a relatively easy challenge. But it requires um, concentration. Yeah, I mean, for one thing, that was a little bit uh, of a sloppy hover bike, hover bike mission. Um, 
But on the other hand, uh, um, yeah, it, it is going to be close regardless. Maybe do just like the middle. This is probably one place where you want to I mean, the last one is pretty reliable. Um, this one, I guess, um, maybe release the Ravager after destroying the turret there, uh, for one thing. Um, for another, um, probably be sure to kill all the enemies in the area before moving on. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, shoot the turrets from afar so that they don't uh, basically destroy your health. Um, that is also necessary. Uh, but yeah. That will probably still be close. And I do this. Am I? Yeah, so now we get level 40. Um. This challenge should be relatively easy compared to the other ones.
Okay. Yeah, well, um, so, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.